Did this really just happen? All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there. And they say yeah. And they say there. What's up, guys? Yankees run this town here, and um, holy crap! I mean, I'm I'm still speechless. Um, I, I'm at a total. I mean, I'm not a total loss for words. I'm making a video, but um, I mean, where do I freaking start? I mean, you know, today, you know, I was decked out my Giants gear, my Giants hat on. You know, last thing I was thinking about this week, especially with I have midterms coming up next week. You know, last thing on my mind. You know, got the big Giants game. You know, last thing on my, my, on my mind was the Yankees. And sure enough, they're going to be the first thing on my mind <laughs> for the whole year. Um, in a matter of a half an hour, the Yankees suddenly, in my opinion, became the favorites for the American League. Um, and here's how this happened. The Yankees acquired right-handed pitcher Michael Pineda from the Seattle Mariners in exchange for Jesus Montero. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. And also, the Yankees signed Hiroki Kuroda to a one-year, $10 million deal. I mean, I I was in total shock at first when I heard that Montero was being traded and when I found out Pineda was, being, was coming here. And then I went to eat dinner and I came back, went on Twitter, and sure enough, right up, right up there was five reports saying Kuroda had signed. And I mean, I, I can't, I can't believe this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm stunned. I mean, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not as upset as I thought I'd be, you know, to hear that Hages Montero was traded. But honestly, this is just a great deal for the Yankees. Um, I don't know how you can't say that, or a great day, I guess you could say, combining both deals. Um, you know, the Yankees suddenly. The starting pitching is all of a sudden their strength, um, or, or one of their strengths. Strengths, um, You know, I mean, the rotation now is like seven men deep. Um, you know, I mean, now it's going to be a battle for the fifth spot between AJ, Freddie Garcia, and Phil Hughes, pending uh, maybe AJ or Hughes gets traded, so stay tuned to that for that too. Um I mean, this is just, uh, it's it's a good deal. And, you know, Montero, it's tough to see him go because he actually played really, really well uh, in September. Um, came up and did a hell of a job. Remember, hit two home runs in one game. He has a lot of power, a lot of potential. But ultimately, um, the Yankees are clearly about winning and winning now. And if that involved trading Jesus Montero, well, that's what the Yankees are uh, did. Um, you know, because, I mean, people, People are upset. I mean, I'm upset. I'm upset that Montero's gone. But I'm so excited that Pineda's coming in and that the Yankees also acquired Jose Campos in the deal. He's another starting pitcher who's, I think, is in double A. Uh, and he's he's a really, really talented uh, prospect and could really help the Yankees in future years. And, I mean, you know, even though people think that this is all about the Yankees want to win this year, it's that it, it, it stretches out the new core of the Yankees. You know, yeah, you, you have the young guys. And it's no longer about Jeter and Arod. It's it's Robinson Cano. It's um, it's uh, Ed uh, uh, Michael Pineda. Um, you know the killer bees that are going to come up. Austin Romine is probably going to be the next starting catcher when Martin leaves. Um, this is a great great trade for the Yankees in my opinion because also Pineda is is, is younger I think than Jesus Montero or the same age. He's he's twenty two. And, you know, he, he, he struggled mightily in the second half. I will not forget that. But he's had showed so much potential in the first half. Um, has nasty, nasty stuff. I mean, this guy freaking has, I mean, just a nasty curveball, a 96-mile-an-hour fastball. I think it can reach 98, 99 sometimes. I mean, the Yankees, the Yankees didn't, did, didn't bring in a sack of potatoes for this guy, for Montero. They brought in a solid young pitcher who could really blossom into – you know, maybe the next Yankees ace, too. I mean, when CeCe starts to break down, as I said, he's only 22. And he's under team control for the next five years. So he won't be going anywhere. Um, and, you know, with Kuroda, I mean, he had a terrific year last year. Um, an ERA right around 3. I think it was like 3.03 or something like that. 200 innings, uh, 160 strikeouts. 
Um, yeah, he's 37, but he was 36 last year and posted those numbers. And um, I was a little, sur I was, I was really surprised at the Yankees signing Kuroda because we kept hearing about how we didn't want to go to the East Coast, how he he would veto any trade to the Yankees or Red Sox. But I guess you know, um, I guess he either became desperate or he wanted to pick, pitch for the Yankees. I guess we'll find that out in the conference call or the press conference, whatever they do with that. Um, you know, and I think Kuroda can be really good. You know, brings veteran presence, brings postseason experience. Experience. Um, you know, he pitched in the AL NLDS a couple times for the Dodgers, um, and he. This is really a a terrific, terrific day for the Yankees. Um, and uh, I, I'm really speech. I, I don't believe that this just happened. I don't believe making a video right now about this. Never in a million years could I would have thought that you know uh, Michael Pineda would be a Yankee, Jesus Montero um, would be in Seattle, and that Hiroki Kuroda would sign. You know, all in a matter of half an hour. That that's what also is so amazing. This didn't happen over a week or two weeks. You you know the Montero trade broke out, and then 20 minutes later you heard a Kuroda. It, it was it was insane. It was it was. It was incredible. I mean, I, I can't, um, I can't, I can't, I can't believe it. Uh, it's just uh, such a great day for the Yankees. And um, as I said, it's arguable that the Yankees once again have the best team in the American League. Uh, I mean, you look at it. You know, their pitching is 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 solid. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I don't know. I don't know if you if you'd want to face CC, um, you know, Pineda, Nova, and Corota in a in a five game series. I sure as hell wouldn't. Um, you know, their lineup is still deadly. Yeah, now we don't know who's going to DH. We'd figure Andrew Jones would get some at-bats. Yankees also, though, could go after Carlos Pena, who could put up just the same production that Montero would. Um, you know, Yankees still have a powerful lineup, as I said, the great pitching, and, and the bullpen, too. I mean, David Robertson, Mariano Rivera, Rafael Soriano could have a bounce back here. Um, I mean, th this team, all of a sudden, you know, all of a sudden, this team looks incredible. And, uh... This is arguably the the best day of the offseason for the Yankees since, you know, they signed CC and AJ, and then they signed Teixeira. Um, this is so surprising, so shocking. I never would have thought this would happen. Um, especially, I, didn't, I couldn't see Montero getting traded after the deal fell through for Cliff Lee a couple years ago. Um, I thought the Yankees would hold on to him, and I, I thought he'd be good. But you know what? That's the business of baseball. The Yankees honestly just made a great trade. I think they're getting a great package back for him. And, um, you know, I have, I have nothing better to say about Montero. I wish him good luck in Seattle. Um, good luck to the Mariners in developing him further. We'll see what they do with him if he wants to, if, if they'll make him catch or if they'll DH him. Who knows? But um, for the Yankees, incredible trade, incredible signing in Hiroki Kuroda. And I'm, I'm, all of a sudden, I am pumped for this season. And, you know, um, I haven't been pumped for a season in a while, well, since 2009. And uh, this is going to be some season, I think, Yankee fans. And, uh, you know, um, I guess happy Chinese New Year or happy belated Christmas, whatever it is. Yankees definitely got some great, great gifts today. So thanks for watching, guys. Go Yankees. Go Giants. This is their week. Let's go Giants. Come on. And uh, um, that's pretty much it. I'm still I'm, I'm shocked, and I will be for the next couple days.